Hi and welcome back to Maths from Scratch. This is Short Division Level 5. In this video we are putting together all the skills learnt from the previous four levels. If you are new to Short Division and you have entered the playlist from this video, I suggest you start from Level 1 and work up to this level. There are numerous little quirks with this written method that you need to be aware of and watching from Level 1 will help you understand those quirks. Short Division is a very powerful written method and when used properly can help you solve some tricky looking questions so don't underestimate the power of this written method. This level 5 video has two versions. It has a version that uses easy times tables and a version that uses all times table facts. The idea behind this is that you can still understand how this method works even when your times tables are a work in progress or you are not that confident with your times tables. When you get more confident with your times tables, then come back and watch the other versions and uh, then you can continue your journey to short division enlightenment, which I think you'll agree is a place where we all need to be. I can't stress how important it is to learn all the times table facts off by heart. Your maths will skyrocket when you memorise those. Now, you just have to trust me on that because it will. Elsewhere on this channel, there are videos that you can help you memorise those. So make sure that you check those out too. Now, when we look at these examples, we will see all skills that we have learned from the previous levels. Now, I think it's wise just to recap what those little quirks are and recap the skills that we kind of developed. So let us just recap these four skills then from the previous levels. So in short division level one, we looked at what happens when two goes into the digit exactly. And we just write above how many times it goes in. From level 2 short division, we were introduced to what happens when there is a zero digit in the number that we want to divide. Well, all we do, because 2 doesn't go into zero, we write a zero above the respective zero there. Then in level 3, we looked at what happens when the digit in turn in question is smaller than the number we're dividing by. Well, in this case, we put a zero above because 2 is too big than 1, so no 2 fits into 1. And then we carry that one onto the next digit. And then we would do 2s into 10, go 5. And then from level 4, we looked at the concept of remainders. So how many 2s go into this 3? Well, because it does go in, we write 1 above it. And then the remainder is 1. And so we have to write the remainder next to the next digit. So then that would be 2s into 10, which go 5. Okay, so let's have a look at our first example, remembering that we're going to put all skills from the four levels together. So we've got 2,094, and we're going to divide that by 2. So if we have my line, and then the curly brace, I'm going to write the numbers underneath. So 2, or 9, 4, and we're dividing this by 2. So let's go ahead. So 2's into 2 go once. 2's into 0, well this is a level 2 skill, so 2 doesn't go in, so it becomes a 0. 2's into 9, well 2 times 4 is 8, so it's 4 times, remainder 1, and 2's into 14, go 7. So that's example 1. Hopefully you can see how all the 4 little skills now, the 4 levels, get combined into the first example. Okay, so here is example number two. So curly brace and my line. So I'm now going to write my numbers underneath. So it's 4,075 divided by five. So now I'm going to ask myself, how many fives going to four? Well, this is a level three skill because five is too big. So it's going to be zero fives. But then what I need to do is I need to carry the four. So now 5's into 40, well that's 8, because 5 eights are 40. Got nothing to carry on, or no remainders, so I can move straight on to the 7. How many 5's go into 7? Well that's once, then there's a remainder of 2, and then how many 5's go into 25? And that's 5. So the answer to this one is 815. Now, there's no rhyme or reason as to how many remainders or how many carries you get. You've just got to keep going. So don't try and look for a pattern. There could be one, there could be three, there could be five in a row. You've just got to keep going. And I think you'll see an example of this in some later examples. So that's example two finished. 
Okay, so here we have a slightly longer example, so you can see how it works with a longer one. So, 2, 1, 9, 6, 0. So, 21,960 shared amongst two things. And then let's take each digit in turn. So, 2 is into 2 go once. 2 is into 1. Well, it don't go because 2 is too big. So, it's going to be a 0, then carry the 1. Now, we're reading this as a 19. So, 2 is into 19. Well, the nearest number is 18 because 2 times 9 is 18. So it will be 9 times, and then I'm going to carry my 1. Now 2's into 16 got 8, and then 2's into 0. Well, this is a level 2 skill. It doesn't go in, so it's going to be a 0. So 21,960 shared amongst two things is 10,980. And if you're, having, if you're struggling halving things, just use short division. This, this helps you. Okay. Right, so let's move on to example number four. So curly brace and our line. And then let's write these numbers underneath. So we've got a four, a three, nine, five, and a zero. So 43,950. And we're going to divide this amongst five things. Right, so let's take each digit in turn. So fives into four. Well, this is a level 3 skill because 5 is too big. So no 5s going to 4. And then we're going to carry the 4 across. So now it's going to be 5s into 43. Now 5s into 43. 5 doesn't go into 43 an, ev an equal number of times either or a whole number of times. So we can see that this question is going to get rather fruity now. So 5s into 43 goes 8 times because 5 times... 8 is 40, so we'll write an 8 above there. Now that gives me a remainder of 3. Now 5's into 39. Well, 5 times 7 is 35, so it's going to be 7 times it goes in. Now there's a remainder of 4 there. Now 5's into 45 go on 9 times, because 9 times 5 is 45. And then we've got a level 2 skill at the end. 5's into 0 go none. So my answer to 43,950 divided by 5 is, eight, is 8,790. So that's example 4 done. Now here is a really long one. Okay. So 1,395,210. Now I'm putting some long ones in so you can see how it works with all numbers. So you get confident with large numbers as well. Because if you can do it with big numbers, you'll be able to do it with the small numbers as well. So we'll start writing this underneath. So 1, 3, 9, 5, 2, 1, 0. And we're sharing that amongst two things. Right, so then we're going to take each digit on in turn. It's going to take us a bit of time, but you'll see how it works with a number in the millions. So 2's into 1. 2's too big, so we're going to write 0 and carry that 1. Now 2's into 13. So the nearest number is 12. So that's six times with one remainder. So again, we've got a chain going on now. Two's into 19. Well, two nines are 18. So it's two times nine. So it's nine twos. And then we've got one to remainder again. So we'll carry the one. Now two's into 15. Well, the nearest one is 14. So that's going to be seven times. And then we carry in the one. And then we've got 2's into 12. So that goes 6 times. And now we're finished. We don't have a chain of remainders or carries anymore. Go on to this first, onto the, this digit. 2's into 1. It's too big. So again, it's a 0. So this is a level 3 skill. So I'll write a 0. Carry the 1. And then 2's into 10. Go 5. So you can see it's just carrying on the normal process of what we did with a chain remainder carry if you need to. And if this number was 20 digits long, you'd just do the same thing. You'd just keep going along in the along the row. So there's our answer to number five and our first meaty example. Right, and so here is our final example. So example number six. We're going to draw a big line and a curly brace now. I'm going to write these numbers underneath. So one... 3, 
0.95210. So it's very similar to our last example, but this time we're going to divide it by 5. We're going to share this amongst 5 things. So let's go. So 5's into 1, which is too big. So we're going to carry that. Now 5's into 13. So 2 times 5 is 10, so it's 2. But then we've got 3 left over. Right, so I think we're going to get a chain of remainders again in this time. 5's into 39. Right, so 5 7's are 35. So it's 5 times 7. Now to get from 35 to 39, it's 4. So I'm going to carry my 4. Right, so 5's into 45. Well, that goes in exactly 9 times. Right, so I know it goes in exactly. So I've finished, finished this bit. So I don't have to worry about any remainders now. So 5's into 2. Well, 5's too big. So this is a level 3 skill. So it's going to be a 0 and then carry the 2 there. Right, 5's into 21. Well, that's 4 times because 4 5's are 20. Carry my 1. Right, this gets a little bit easier now. We're in the home straight. 5's into 10. Go twice. Because 2 times 5 is 10. And then 5's into 0. This is a level 2 skill. 5 doesn't go into 0. So it's a 0. And so there we have it. That's example 6. And this is a long example using short division. Now, there's only two more levels after this. And then that you can then divide any number you can think of by a single digit. So here are some practice questions then for you to have a go at. Once you've answered these, watch the accompanying walkthrough video, so short division level five, the answer walkthrough, and see how you've got on. Thanks for watching this video, which has been brought to you by Maths From Scratch. If you are finding these videos useful, please don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and share these videos with other people who you think might benefit from watching them.